Rivals in ads, allies in silicon. Meta just booked Google's data centers for six years. In AI, the choke point isn't ideas, it's compute. Good evening. We open with Meta, which has signed a six-year cloud computing deal with Google worth over $10 billion. That's right. In a world where Meta and Google are bitter rivals in advertising and consumer platforms, they are now partners in the single most expensive resource of the AI era, which is compute. Under this agreement, Meta will tap into Google's cloud servers, networking storage, and most importantly, its TPUs and GPUs to scale AI workloads. This comes just weeks after Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg admitted the company would spend hundreds of billions of dollars on massive AI data centers. Meta recently raised its 2025 CAPEX forecast, wait for this, to as high as $72 billion. So why is this deal so important? Because even giants like Meta can't go it alone. They already operate their own data centers and they are actually customers of both AWS and Microsoft Azure. But the scale of Llama models, AI training, and global inference demand is so massive that no single cloud provider can meet it. For Google, on the other hand, this is a power move. It's actually cloud business, which has grown 32% last quarter. And it recently landed OpenAI as a customer, despite OpenAI being Microsoft's closest partner. Now, with Meta in the bag, Google is showing that the real AI race is about infrastructure dominance, not just model benchmarks. So it's not just about Meta and Google. OpenAI CFO Sarah Fryer recently revealed the company's plans to build trillion dollar data centers and even sell AI infrastructure and AWS style model that could redefine its business. So just think about it. The same company behind ChatGPT gearing up to control not just the models, but the very physical backbone of the AI economy. Together, these moves make it very clear. Whether it's Meta, Google or OpenAI, the real currency of AI isn't just algorithms. It's actually who owns and controls the data centers, chips and pipelines that everyone else rents. And the internet, obviously, is buzzing. So one Redditor actually summed it up by saying this. So Gemini Cloud, GPT, and now Llama, all on Google Cloud? Another joked, Google is NVIDIA if NVIDIA rented shovels instead of selling them in the AI gold rush. They actually win either way. Others, of course, see the bigger play. So by contributing the most cost-efficient inference hardware, its custom TPUs, Google doesn't just need to win the AGI race. It actually just needs to be the platform everyone else rents. But this alliance also blurs competitive lines. Well, these are companies battling for dominance in ads, social media, and consumer AI. Yet, when it comes to compute, they are forced into uneasy partnerships. Because in 2025, the truth is simple. Infrastructure is power. Models will change. Power flows to whoever owns chips, data centers, and the grid. Everyone else rents the future by the hour.